I have a really interesting video today talking about concept art with this loan screen, the burning ambition being the final version of what was added to the game. This is a loading screen that was done by an artist called Chris Bronner. This was tweeted out by Restro. This is the one we got in game, which gives us a clear insight into Valer's plans and her driving force at the time, her burn ambition. Now the tagline for this loan screen is knowledge is power. I intend to know everything. As you can see here has zero point. Jonesy, the zero point again. I believe this to be the IO bunkers back in chapter one, chapter two. And we have Pandora's box. Something to consider as we now know, there is a bunker actually in game near Grand Glacier. So I guess it could have always been that, but it was under ice at the time, so who knows. The concept art did reveal that it could have been very different to what we got in game. By the addition of two members of the seven, the foundation and the order. We also have two images of the zero point, Jonesy, Jonesy the first, Pandora's box, and again the IO bunkers from chapter one, chapter two. Well no, it seems like this is actually more of a fence. But let's talk about the order and the foundation. Two members of the seven. I guess if this was the loan screen and how it was in game would have hinted towards a possible return in the future. Of course that still could be on the cards, but it's the two members of the seven that didn't get chromed in chapter four, season four, or in the trailer anyway. Of course, through challenges, it seemed like they went missing and got chromed as well. But some people just like to refer to the trailer. Make it out what you will. People still doubt if Fortnite cares about the story. And I think this chapter has been really good in keeping Pandora's box a plot device through the entirety of this chapter so far. And it hasn't been done since, well, zero point. And since it is featured in the screens, it could be making a return. I mean, Jones did mention it this week in Challenges too. Getting something like this is a real cool and interesting insight. For me, it proves that Chris was instructed to use certain things from a law or art bible, since all the images that are used seem like default guidelines, like PNGs, and as well as the Seven logo is also included in this bit. So we have two, I think, Seven logos, maybe possible third. But it seems like obviously he was instructed by a artillery to mention or to add or to draw these things in. I don't see like an artist just going on Google and going, oh, I better put the foundation and the order in this. I'm sure there was something behind the reasoning for him doing that. But since it was never in the final loading screen, I guess we probably never know. You know, it's always possible for the seven to return, but maybe that is still some way off a cool thing is the addition of her code name which is madam moth of course moths are important which i don't think is added in the concept art so this was obviously done afterwards added by another team member i'm struggling to see any moths here but the moths were added i guess this is also from the wallpaper which could have been done by another concept artist and it was added all together at a later date. Oh, wait, was it seat? Does the seat have moths? No, definitely seemed like that was added at a different date. In the final product, you do see Pandora's box here, but it doesn't actually look like the outline is a zero point here. So all very interesting. Another little interesting fact is that he doesn't just have the date. He has the time, the 25th of October, 2023, 1.27 p.m. And from these concepts, I think you can see things being altered. If you look here, switch books and shades. The shades in the concept do look different than what we got in game. And maybe the issue with the books is the seven logo. Or no, the interesting use of calling the skin Madam Moth. It seems like the concept artist then went down a Madam Web sort of inspiration. Unless the whole thing is a coincidence. Something I do just want to add is I don't want people to get confused with Valère's loading screen concept and Valère herself. This is not a concept art for Valère or Valeria. Just to point out, I have been looking at this again and this is a layer. It seems like what was ever put on these screens were very interchangeable because even the concept art had a different layer to it, which you would have anyway. So it does appear that Fortnite still cares about the seven, but does it mean they will return? Let me know in the comments. Do you think they're going to return in chapter five or do you think the seven will return in chapter six or not at all? And they're done. They're scrapped and never coming back. Let me know what you think. Anyway, has been your boy Miss JLY. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye. Like and subscribe.